Hi. I'm going to do a super quiet day three for videotaping today. Um, I just got out of a flotation tank and I am in the relaxation room now and it is so, uh, well, relaxing. And it was great after um, hiking out in western Pennsylvania with my family for a bit. I'm headed um, back to New York, New Jersey. You can see there's quotes of Dr. Seuss behind me and beautiful artwork. I'll just turn this around and like, you know, just it's a great place to just chill out and relax in a beautiful outdoors area. And then there's salt lamps. So if you haven't floated before, um, I highly recommend doing it. And this is actually the fifth location I floated in. I am in central Pennsylvania right now, and I'll be writing all that information in this blog post. Um, it's probably below or above, I don't know. But I um, it's a great experience. It, it goes really well with a massage, and uh, there's a lot of benefits they've found to balancing the brain and um, being athletic and muscle recovery and uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and also aging and fibromyalgia. And so I've just been driving a bunch this last week, and I also, you know, did some hiking and a lot of working out with my cousins, cousins and family. So I thought this would be a good choice, and I've been wanting to come to this one. But I've done it in five locations, and it's um, sort of a thing that's been um, getting more popular as time goes on and as people find out about it. So I'm going to be talking about a few of the places I've gone, but this was definitely one of my favorites. And I'll also explain why. Um, it has to do with temperature and just ease of getting into the pool and everything. But um, And I think if I can find it again, I'll also post the... Um, there's a whole documentary about the benefits of going floating and about kind of doing... Because you, you, there's no light in the in these tubs and there's you don't feel anything because the water is the same temperature as your body. So it's kind of like sensory deprivation, but they don't like it being called that because there's this weird video in the 80s, a movie that was like a horror movie about sensory deprivation, but this is like heaven. So, and it's a great way to meditate too. So that was my day three of traveling. Um, I'm Leslie uh, from Better P Travel Better Podcasts. And thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.